These are the strategies for academic success from supporting strategic writers by Dr. Zoe Traga, Philip Pacos, and Dr. Charles MacArthur. The slides are by Caitlin Gallagher, and I'm Kate Cottle. So today, we're talking about the strategies for academic success. And these are a series of strategies that help students set goals, manage their tasks, check their own progress, and then reflect on their growth. And this is a continuous cycle of goal setting and task management and reflection that helps students keep moving on the goals that they want to. So the first thing that you want to think about are what are your long-term goals? What are your goals for life? And then you can't concentrate on that because that's probably not going to help you get this assignment done because it's too big. So you need to think about your long-term goals, Back to this assignment. What is the connection between the two? And then what are your goals for this assignment? Is it to get an A? Is it to learn? I'm really hoping it's that you learn. The next step is task management. And this is how can I manage my work to get it done? And it's not just time because while time management is a part of it, there are other things that go into managing yourself to get work done. Sometimes it's taking yourself away from other people. Sometimes it's management of space. Sometimes it's management of noise, making sure it's quiet. And sometimes it's time of day. Like, are you better in the morning? Are you better in the afternoon? And so these are all things that you want to think about as you're trying to get your work done. The second step in task management is what strategies can I use? What strategies have you used so far? Do you use a diary? Do you set out time specifically to study? Do you make sure that you have a place and a clean desk? What are things that you've tried? And then what are things that you're willing to try? Because if there is a time to try new strategies, it's college because this is a place for you to try a bunch of different things to see what works for you professionally. And the last part of task management is how can I motivate myself to do my best? What gets me going? Is it that after I finish this task, I get to eat candy? Or is it after I finish this task, I get to watch a movie? Is it after I finish this part of the task, I get to get up and take a walk? However you need to chunk your work and motivate yourself, do it and think about the ways that work for you and think about other things that you might try that might work for you for motivation. And then the next step is checking progress. Am I using the strategies? Because sometimes people will try nothing and then say, well, nothing is working. Well, of course, nothing is working. So try something. And we're going to talk about a lot of strategies as this class goes on. Are the strategies helping you to get the task done? Because if you're trying strategies and they're not working for you, it's time to try something different. Like if you're entering time in a paper calendar that says, this is the time that I now study, but then you don't actually ever use that time for studying, what else can you try? Can you put it in an electronic form? Can you um, cut off access to the internet for yourself until that task is done? There are lots of things you can try. The last step in checking progress is, shall I try other strategies? Are there things that you've never tried before because you think they couldn't possibly work? Well, try them. They might work. Because if they work for other people, they might work for you. And then the last thing is reflection. How did I do on the task? And how did I do on the task should really be a reflection of your goal. If, you're ref if your goal was to learn, and you learned but you didn't get the best grade, then you did achieve your goal. And then the next question you want to ask yourself is how did the goal and the strategies work? Did the strategies that I use help me achieve my goals? Again, if they didn't, is there something else that I should be considering? Sometimes some parts of it are going to work well and some parts aren't. Don't be afraid to get rid of the stuff that didn't work well and keep the parts that did work well. What strategies are you going to try next time? Again, remember in this class you're going to learn a bunch of different strategies from a bunch of different people and it may be something as simple as when I put this CD on, actually it's not a CD anymore, I'm sorry I'm old, but when I put this music on I know it's time for me to really start working. Or when I've cleaned off my desk I, really, I know it's time to really start working. Or once my kids are in bed asleep it's time for me to really start working. Whatever that is for you, if there's an aspect of it that doesn't work you can get rid of it. And then the last thing is, what goals am I going to set next time? Because remember, you're never done. You never just set a goal and then you're done. You set a goal, you meet the goal, and then you try for the next goal. And so all of these strategies for academic success, while they seem intimidating and hard to use, once you start using them on a day-to-day -day basis to assess your daily and your academic activity, you'll find that they're very, very effective.